Crews not only battling brush fires, but helping overheated hikers as Valley residents enjoy the outdoors. Fox 10's Irene Snyder has more. Well, Brian, good evening. It certainly was a very hot Easter Sunday, but many people that we spoke with decided to brave the heat. They said they wanted to spend the holiday with their families outside, and they made the most of it. Easter this year is bringing along with it not only chocolate bunnies and eggs, but also a string of pretty hot weather. Many families are doing their best to stay cool while enjoying the holiday out at the park. We kind of get our outside time early in the season because we know inevitably at some point it's going to get a little too hot to spend a long afternoon outside. The Thor family took their bikes and scooters for a spin late in the day, but the temperatures were still in the high 90s. Their daughters, Bridget and London, weren't big fans of the heat. It's horrible. <laughs> I don't like it. And their younger brother Brantley couldn't agree more. What do you think about the heat? Uh, so. <laughs> Fire officials are also warning about spending too much time out in the heat, especially after responding to a mountain rescue Easter morning when a 27 year old overheated. She was hiking Thunderbird Conservation Park. She's all right, but fire crews say that just goes to show how dangerous the elements can be if you're not careful. I wear appropriate clothing with enough shade, sunscreen, um, and one tip we really want people to remember when hiking in the desert is make sure you have a full charge on your cell phone battery because if something does happen, that allows us to be able to hit that cell phone ping and find those GPS coordinates. As for little Brantley, his number one piece of advice. I got to want it. <laughs> And water is definitely very important, just like Brantley said there. And fire officials that we spoke to agree with him, especially if you're out hiking or even at the park. Uh, make sure that you carry water with you and stay hydrated. And if you're hiking and you run out of water at that point, make sure that you do turn back. Reporting in Phoenix, I'm Irene Snyder for Fox 10 News.